thank you everyone for coming. My name is Dr. Fly on the Wall. Before we review the group rules, can we quickly go around and introduce ourselves, starting with the student to my right? My name is Mahatma. My name is Prankster. My name is Maria. My name is Rudy. My name is Socrates. My name is Brigitte. My name is Sleek. My name is Latoya. My name is Martha. My name is Kyoto. Here are the group rules. Acceptance. We all have different issues and problems and will accept each other irrespective of different social status, height, shape, sexual orientation, color, or creed. Sharing. To share your feelings if you feel your painful experience will help others. Simply say, I pass. If you are not ready to share your feelings and opinions. Installation of hope. Encouragement that recovery is possible. One at a time. Respect one another by not carrying on another conversation when it is their turn to speak. Imparting information. Teaching about problem and recovery. Confidentiality. What happens in group stays in group. Do not form cliques or use the group as a dating venue. Cohesion. Encourage and cheer on one another. Empathy. Show understanding when other group members are crying. Imitative behavior. No cussing or yelling or rudeness. Yalom's Therapeutic Group Factors Universality Feeling of having problems similar to others, not alone. Altruism Helping and supporting others. Installation of hope Encouragement that recovery is possible. Guidance Nurturing support and assistance. Imparting information Teaching about problem and recovery. Developing social skills. Learning new ways to talk about feelings, observations, and concerns. Interpersonal learning. Finding out about themselves and others from the group. Cohesion. Feeling of belonging to the group. Valuing the group. Catharsis. Release of emotional tension. Existential factors. Life and death are realities. Imitative behavior. Modeling another's manners and recovery skills. Corrective recapitulation of family of origin issues. Identifying and changing the dysfunctional patterns or roles one played in primary family. Now, can we go around and say how our week has been since our session a week ago? And remember one important group rule. Simply say, I pass if you are not ready to share your feelings and opinions. Who wants to go first? Let me go first. My week was fine. I finally learned how to say no to my grandkids. It went better than I thought. My week was horrible. Everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. I can't sleep. I can't concentrate. My mind is going around in circles. I can't take it anymore. Sometimes I wish I was dead. It seems you feel the whole world is collapsing around you and that your world is the worst world. <laughs> yes. What should you do when overwhelmed? Put, Put your, your problems, problems in time, time out. out. The three R's. The three R's. <laughs> Retreat, rethink, respond. Well said, prankster. Now that we have had a brief time out, let us review the 10 steps of problem-solving technology. Number one. Remember, the problem is not the problem. It is normal to have problems from time to time. The real problem is the mindset obstacles that prevent you from finding solutions. Number two. Start by putting your problems in brief time out. Number three, write down and number all your problems on a piece of paper. Hold them in the palm of your hands. Look down on them and confidently fold that piece of paper and put it away in your pocket. You are suddenly in charge and the problems are no longer floating around aimlessly in your brain. Number four, remind yourself that you are only as strong as the trials and obstacles you overcome. Number five, remind yourself that sometimes bad things happen to good people. Number six, slowly gain mastery over your problems by addressing the easy solutions first. Number seven, assign a time frame to each problem. Start out with those that can be resolved in a matter of days, weeks, months, years, and never. Be careful to get a second opinion before you conclude that a problem has no solution. Remember that some problems are extremely difficult, but not impossible. Number eight, 
Once you have concluded a problem has no solution, stop fretting over it. Hand it over to God. Number nine. For problems due to other people's behavior, which you have no control over, attend to cognitive behavioral therapy where you can learn how to set boundaries. Number 10. Finally confront your inner circle. Replace can't with difficult. Setback equals fight back. Choice and control. When you have no choice or control, then the only logical option is to pray for the best and prepare for the worst. Remain optimistic, but be realistic. 2C equals 2P. Now, let us ask Martha to identify all her problems. Son's car wreck. Mom's Louis dementia. Death of mother-in-law. Death of two close friends. I feel completely overwhelmed. Can I talk about my problems now? It would be better if we find some solutions for Martha before we go on. This is an example of imitative behavior and interpersonal learning. Now that Martha has identified five major problems, let us find out how she really feels about these problems. I feel completely overwhelmed, tired, screwed up, helpless, apprehensive, scared, anxious, piling on hopeless. Sometimes I feel I'm being punished. I can't imagine a world without my mom. I'll rather die first. <laughs> what is Martha's predominant defense mechanisms? Catastrophization, introjection, generalization, and avoidance. Correct! That's exactly how I feel. I feel I can't cope with all of these. Remember, we no longer use the C word in group. It's better to say it's difficult to cope instead of I can't cope. The C word. The C word is an example of automatic thoughts and false beliefs, which in turn control your emotions and behaviors. Let us look at the board and see how powerful and harmful false beliefs can be. We are unfortunately aware of 100% of all our emotions, which are generated by the millions of thoughts that course through our worried minds. How can we teach Maria to track her thought and discover the hidden belief systems that generate them? By connecting people's behavior with what they actually say. So you think that what you say is a reflection of your thoughts. Now let us go around the room and identify possible obstacles that prevents us from finding solutions. Not realizing that sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. My obstacle is that it's hard for me to say no. Q-tip. Quit taking it personally. When I'm depressed, I forget all the positives in my life. Sometimes we all forget the positives in our lives. Death is not the end. My late mom is happy in heaven. I guess my obstacle is guilt. Guilty about setting boundaries because it's my fault I was so psychiatrically unstable I couldn't raise him right when he was a kid. So if it's your fault that one son is struggling, why you feel you don't deserve any credit for the one son that is doing better? It gets worse before it gets better. Remember, this shall pass. Hope for the best, but be ready for the worst. Take credit for both the good and the bad, not just the bad. <laughs> the five stops to a happier life. Stop looking back. Stop overreacting. Stop jumping to conclusions. Stop seeking revenge. Stop setting vague boundaries. Be fair but firm.